5% with a 1.94 APR. Call the experts at Network Capital now. Call 800-500-NUMBER-1-HIT. 800-501-HIT. As in home run, call now and save big on your refi. 800-500-1-HIT. 800-500-1448. NMLS ID 11712. Not licensed in all states. Visit NLSConsumeraccess.org. Licensed by the California Department of Financial Protection and Innovation. And the financing law. Number 603D, 787. Any equal opportunity lender. Rates subject to change and may not be available at rate law. Discount points may apply. Subject to credit approval. Call 800-500-1448 for additional cost information. Hey, it's Gary. Medicare annual enrollment is here. And it's time to keep your Medicare moving forward with Scan Health Plan. Scan has a comprehensive Medicare Advantage plan with new cost saving benefits. Plans for 2022 may include $125 monthly give back, lower out of pocket costs, more included dental coverage, and more. To learn more, call Scan Health Plan at 1 855 479 7226 TTY711 or ask your local agent about Scan. Call Scan to see if you qualify. Scan Health Plan is an HMO plan with a Medicare contract. Enrollment in Scan Health Plan depends on contract renewal. At MPM Resort, we know this is no time to return to normal. It's time to... It's time to... It's time to... It's time for the time of your life in this at MGM Resort. The love and those all in the Duh. I'm saving money and I'm keeping cool throughout the summer and into October because SolarMax does everything under one roof right here in SoCal. I get the best service. SolarMax has an exciting new offer. A Tesla 420 panels and power walls for $79.96 per month and zero down. All you gotta do, dial pound 250 from your cell phone, say the keyword SolarMax, pound 250, SolarMax, or go to SolarMaxTech.com. Monthly favorite available on the food credit, the SLB number 972040. There's never been a better time to switch to Spectrum Mobile. You could save hundreds of dollars on your mobile bill. Plus, there are no added taxes, hidden fees, and no contracts. Try the Spectrum Mobile Savings Calculator today, and in three easy steps, you'll see how much you could save by switching. Visit SpectrumMobile.com slash save. Spectrum Internet required. Savings may vary. Restrictions apply. Visit SpectrumMobile.com slash save for details. Live and local. KFI AM 640. An iHeart radio station. Technologic. Technologic. I Good morning. Handle here in the morning crew on a Tuesday, October the 5th. Back we go to more Tech Tuesday with uh, Rich DeMuro, Rich on Tech.TV. Uh, Rich, I want to talk about uh, canceling subscriptions online, uh, and that is what drives me completely crazy, because you can get on, but you can't get off. And in some cases, you can't do it. They won't let you do it. Particularly unsubscribe. I mean, I love those. You subscribe to uh, some email blast, and you're just done and you start looking for unsubscribe, you can't find it. Or when you do find it and you click, it does nothing. It's like you're clicking an empty button. So what's going on with that? And I understand California has uh, just passed a new law. Yeah, this is, this is huge for California because, yes, we've all been there. You sign up. Everything these days is super easy to sign up for online, whether it's uh, you know a gym membership, whether it is a, uh, uh, a newspaper member, whatever, a newspaper subscription, anything. And then all of a sudden, it comes time to cancel. And you go looking in your email for that little, hey, let me, uh, here's how to cancel information. And it says, oh, sorry, you have to call in. And those are like the most dreaded words because you know what's going to happen. They're going to try to give you the sales pitch. They're going to give you the hard sell. They're going to say, we'll give you one more month for free. Hopefully, you forget about it. And then you see the bill on your credit card the next time. So now California has Assembly Bill 390 passed into law yesterday. doesn't take effect for a little bit. Um, but it's the, uh, basically it says if you can sign up for a subscription online, you have to be able to cancel it online. And there's more. If a company is about to start billing you, they have to send you a warning. And if they're going to bill you for a yearly subscription, like, you know, you subscribe for something you prepaid for the year, before the next year comes up, they have to email you and say, hey, heads up, we're going to bill your credit card in a couple of days for this thing. So this takes effect on July 1st of next year. And uh, according to my Facebook page, people are ecstatic when it comes to this bill because it will really help. One of the things uh, about just signing up in general uh, for any deal, for any information, uh, for any potential bid, and I go on the Internet all the time, and I'm asking for information, and before they give me information, it's sign up, and we'll send you back. So you sign up, boom, you just bought yourself 10 uh, blasts a day from that company. 
uh, and then you add uh, several uh, several of these, and you're just wiped out. Uh, my wife example, is notorious for that. So she signs up for everything, gets 10 blasts a day from, I don't know, dozens and dozens of countries or companies. Uh, I'm not exaggerating now. I am not oh, exaggerating. I believe it. I believe it. 50,000 emails. Oh, well, multiply. Well, here's here's my tip for, you know, signing up uh, for anything online. Let's say, you know, free trial. Uh, they want to send you a free sample. Whatever it is, uh, if you're putting in your card, number well, number one, I always look for the pricing information. So if you're signing up for any sort of service, look on the website for where it, it spells out the pricing. If you can't find that, I would not sign up for it because... You don't want to be revealed the pricing after you sign up and, and hand over your information. The second thing is before you sign up for anything, look for the area to cancel because that will give you some clues as to how hard it's going to be to cancel. So if you go on there, what we call FAQs, the, you know, the facts on the, uh, the website where it says, you know, where they answer all your questions, just type in cancel as your uh, search. And when it says, oh, you must call a customer service representative to cancel this subscription, and not going to do it, not going to subscribe to that because you know it's just you're never, you're, by the time you call them in, you've already gotten charged for this service. Yeah, it drives me nuts. And then just unsubscribing in general. Uh, you would think there'd be a law that says if there is a subscription, doesn't matter if it's free or not, I don't care, uh, of some kind, uh, and you can't get out of it, that should be illegal. A company should not be able to do that. Well, the, the legitimate ones are supposed to follow some, you know, rules. I'm not sure if they're laws per se. I mean, I know there's a spam law, but, uh, you know, like a Best Buy or a Macy's, if you tap on subscribe. Yeah, no, those, those are legit. Emails. Those are yeah. legit. But, but the other ones, it, it's just, if you tap anything in their email, they're just, they're going to send you more. Yeah. All right, we only have a couple of minutes. Uh, Windows 11. Let's talk about that for a moment. So this is, uh, this is just to be aware that this is happening. I know a lot of people, once they figure out their computer, they don't really want to switch to a brand new software, a brand new operating system. I mean, unless you're a nerd like me, uh, then you look forward to this kind of stuff. But the new operating system is available today. Uh, just like in years past, it is a free upgrade, or in recent years, I should say. So Windows 11 is the name of it. Uh, what does it have? It's got a new look and feel, so it looks a little more modern. It looks cooler. Uh, it's got widgets, which tell you stuff on screen. Um, an easier way to organize your apps. So a lot of people deal with multiple monitors at home. Uh, if they're working from home, now Windows 11 can help you keep your apps arranged in certain ways. And when you unplug those monitors, when you plug them back in, they will all snap back to the way you said. Um, Microsoft Teams is also built into this, and that's the software that a lot of people have uh, turned to during the pandemic. But again, it's a free update. Uh, you can check if your computer is eligible. If it's running Windows 10, chances are it can be upgraded to Windows 11, but it's not going to happen overnight. Windows is sort of staging this rollout. They don't want the Facebook thing to happen, right? So they're, they're giving a couple of computers a day access to this. Not a couple, probably 100,000, whatever. Um, and then they'll keep rolling it out over the next uh, six months or so. All right. Uh, as always, uh, Rich, thank you. Uh, it's richontech.tv. That's his website where all things tech can be looked at and gathered. Have a good one, Rich. Thanks, Bill. You do. Coming up, handle on the news late edition right here on KFI and a quick news break with Jennifer Jones-Lee. The CEO of the company that owns the pipeline off the shore of Huntington Beach says he may know where the leak started. But Amplify Energy's Martin Wilcher says he's still not sure how it started. We, we've seen a spot that we think could very likely be the source. Wilcher suggested yesterday the leak may have happened because of a structural fault or a ship's anchor slamming into it. Wiltshire says his divers were expected to take a closer look. He says that pipeline had been inspected back in 2020 and showed no issues. He says all of their lines off the shores of California go through a biannual check for obstructions and defects. Steve Gregory, KFI News. The Coast Guard says as of yesterday afternoon, 14 boats had recovered 4,158 gallons of crude oil from the ocean. News is brought to you by 1-800-NO-COPS. Facebook whistleblower Francis Hogan says... The big tech company won't change unless it's forced to, she told the Senate Consumer Protection Subcommittee. Facebook puts profits before the safety of its users. Haugen says she's also that that can have a, a negative effect on the mental health of kids. Facebook knows that its amplification algorithm, things like engagement-based ranking on Instagram, can lead children from very innocuous topics like healthy recipes to anorexia promoting content. Haugen says Facebook products harm kids, stroke division, and weaken democracy.
Britney Spears has thanked her fans who've been supporting her through her conservatorship court case against her father. She posted on social media yesterday for the first time since the judge suspended her father, Jamie Spears, as a conservator last week. Spears thanked the Free Britney movement for its constant resilience and says she cried for hours in gratitude. Federal health experts are working to finalize COVID-19 safety guidance for this year's holiday season. Confusion among Americans looking to make holiday plans. The CDC taking down its online guidance that suggested celebrations are safer when outdoors or virtually. They now say new guidance is coming soon. ABC's Morgan Norwood says even though there's been a drop in COVID cases across the U.S., numbers are expected to go up over the next few months. A DEA agent has been shot and killed at a train station in Arizona. Authorities in Tucson say the agents were questioning two men while they were doing a routine check of an Amtrak train. The agents detained one of the men and the other started shooting. A second DEA agent and police officer were also shot. The, the shooter barricaded himself in the bathroom where he was later found dead. And the next tourism destination is about to boldly go where only a few have gone before. Worldview Enterprises is developing a balloon that will carry people into the stratosphere. Officials from Worldview, based out of Arizona, say the first commercial flights are targeted for early 2024. The space flight is about six to eight hours, hitting an altitude of at least 100,000 feet. Officials say their balloon ride will be smooth and gentle enough to accommodate people of widely different ages and fitness levels. Each seat on the eight-passenger Explorer capsule will sell for $50,000. That's a lot cheaper than the $450,000 price tag for a seat on Virgin Galactic Space Buggy. Michael Crozier, KFI News. Ah, uh, he's up, up, and away in the KFI in the sky. You bet there are probably some uh, delays coming out of acting here. i got to give you a heads up on this. This will make you late. Uh, the uh, alternatives are going away, but the, the problem is South 14 and New Hall Avenue. If it did before, you get down New Hall Pass, carpool, two left were blocked and an overturn. There was even debris in the northbound lane, and even complicating the other drive, North 5, going up to the 14. There was a problem right in the middle of the New Hall Pass. Now, southbound, it's really south, stop and stop kind of stuff, coming down from the Sand Canyon, and we've been checking Sierra Highway uh, right through this, and boy, it really got busy, especially from Golden Valley going down the hill. So, again, this, this will probably make you late. Now, once you do get into the San Fernando Valley, of course, the drive downhill, down to the 118 and down to the 170, it's all pretty good. A little slow down to the split. South 5 from Hollywood Way down through the construction zone. Burbank is kind of slow, but all ends open. And finally, the eastbound drive now, coming out of the Calabasas across San Fernando Valley, over to Encino on the 405 and the Hollywood, as a matter of fact. It's just morning drive slow. It really is all the way across. All lanes open for you. Injured in an accident, visit superwomansuperlawyer.com. Jeff Buck, AFI in the sky. The Clippers sweep past the Denver Nuggets at Staples Center, led by Terrence Mann with 14 points, 8 rebounds, 5 assists. Reggie Jackson lost 9 points from 3 triples he made in less than 6 minutes. All of that on the way to a 103-102 to LA victory to open the preseason. The Kings will skate against the Arizona Coyotes in preseason puckage tonight at 7.30. You can hear it all live in HD through the iHeartRadio app. I'm Wayne Resnick, KFI Sports. Sign on the line, Inc. DBA True Mortgage is a fair housing lender. And NLS 1626699. The following example is a 30-year term at 2.625% on a loan amount of $300,000 with a 50% LTV. Primary residence only and with a 745 score. Rates are at all-time lows, but you hear a lot of conflicting information about what that means to you exactly. The team at True Mortgage wants to show you how affordable a true loan can actually be and how much it might cost you each month. If you've got a $300,000 loan and you're paying a dime more than $1,250 a month, you must call True Mortgage now at 833-66-FASTER or go to truenow.com to see what they can do to make your monthly payment more affordable. Twelve fifty per month on a $300,000 loan, it's true, and they can help you get into a super affordable monthly payment and help you immediately. Have a $400,000 loan, merely add another $400 per month and so on. It is simple math and an even easier payment, but as Chairman Powell said, rates will go up, so call today. True Mortgage, 833-66-FACTOR or TrueNow.com. That's 833-66-FACTOR or dial pound 250 and use the keywords True Mortgage. So we've got weather from KFI, partly cloudy with highs upper 60s to upper 70s at the beaches. Low to mid 80s for Metro LA and OC, just the upper 80s for the valleys and the IE. We lead local, live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom. I'm Jennifer jones Lee. Here's what you need to know about the Pfizer COVID-19 booster. Not everyone needs one. Those who should receive a booster are 65 and older, long-term care residents, 
and those 50 to 64 with underlying medical conditions. Consider a booster if you're 18 to 49 with underlying medical conditions, or 18 to 64 with a high risk of COVID exposure at work. Only get a booster if it's been at least six months since you received your second dose of Pfizer. Find a booster near you at myturn.ca.gov. Brought to you by the California Department of Public Health. Hey, it's Dean Sharp. Your first step towards your dream kitchen should be a totally free in-showroom consultation with my friends at the kitchen store. Experienced kitchen designers, a 7,000 square foot showroom, state-of-the-art computer design, 12 months same as cash financing, pricing that beats the big boxes, all right off the 405 in Culver City. For more than 50 years, the kitchen store is the place for kitchen cabinets. Dial 310 Kitchen. That's 310 Kitchen or find them on the web at 310kitchen.com. Get Wendy's bacon or sausage egg and Swiss breakfast croissant for $1.99. This hot buttery croissant is fluffy enough to sleep on. Wakey, wakey, get a better breakfast for just $1.99. Only at Wendy's. Limited time only. U.S. price breakfast station may vary. Third party delivery prices may vary. I follow the combo. Want the best possible price on your next car? Download the Roto app. That's R-O-D-O. Roto lets you route thousands of vehicles from local dealers right from your phone and even offers contact-free delivery. And with Roto, there's never any haggling. The price you see is pre-negotiated and already includes every available discount. There's no hidden fees and no surprises. Just 100% transparent pricing. So for an easy car buying experience, download the Roto app now or check out Roto.com. That's R-O-C-L.com. Advanced Hair Restoration is now offering $250 off and 250 free hair grafts for the same simple one-day treatment I receive. Their standard of care always exceeds CDC guidelines, and they guarantee your new hair will grow. Call 844-333-HAIR or go to advancedhair.com. Termite problems? Search PacificCoastTermite.com or call 800-PACIFIC. There's red, blue, and then there's you. You're a free thinker and believe the best idea should win, no matter whose idea that is. KFI AM 640 is made for independent thinkers like you. Heard everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. Handle on the news. Late edition. Handle on the news. And now, here's Bill Handel. Handle here. Uh, Wayne is giving me the look. All right. This is a Tuesday morning, October 5th. And Bill, it's so out of context. It's completely out of context. And uh, why don't we do it? We still have uh, plenty more show to, to uh, jump into, of course. So uh, let's get at uh, Handle on the News. Late edition. Jennifer Jones Lee, Wayne and me. Lee story. And it's about the weather. So I always defer to that lady over there behind uh, the curtain. Actually, behind the glass. Well, thanks, Bill. I'm happy to talk to you about the weather. Uh, oh, yes. you meant Jen. I meant Jen. Ah, so, yes, the cooler temperatures will be today. We will probably just be in the upper 80s for the inland temperature. 60s back of the coast, much more normal for this time of year. And then our next chance at some rain comes Thursday night into Friday. But this round that we had, it was just enough to get everything kind of wet. Yeah. Which is Not too, even an inch. Uh, which is too bad. Perfect for fires, incidentally, because you don't have flash floods, and you have this gentle rain coming down over an extended period of time. That's what you want whenever you have a wildfire. And yesterday, the thunder. We don't get thunder that often here in Southern California. Now, I didn't see any lightning. Did you? Oh, yeah. We had a good show in Rancho yesterday. Oh. I didn't see any lightning. I heard the thunder. I heard the thunder. And like four drops of rain came down at one point. Yeah. That sounds like a song. Yeah, and it's, it's hard to see lightning when you're inside and watching television. <laughs> I have windows. Um, yeah, it you kind know? of lit up the house. That's what it, we were sitting well, in. Well, no, I, I, have, I have blackout curtains in uh, the oh, room right. to watch uh, TV in. Uh, oh, I see. Oh, you're, you, are you in that theater? Well, it's a TV room, room yeah. You call it a TV room? Uh, you call that room a TV room? No. It's a theater. No, not really. It's, it's a, a theater. theater. Okay, let's move on. Well, you've got the Facebook whistleblower, Francis Haugen, who is before right now a Senate Consumer Protection Subcommittee. She's already testified that the big tech company won't change unless it's forced to. She said that uh, Facebook puts its profits before the safety of users and says it can have a negative effect on the mental health of kids. Facebook knows that its amplification algorithm, things like engagement-based ranking on Instagram, 
can lead children from very innocuous topics like healthy recipes to anorexia promoting content. And one more quick quote she or cut she says that uh, she told lawmakers that yeah Facebook does have algorithms but she feels like they're used to promote divisiveness and actually yeah. make the users feel worse. The company's leadership knows how to make Facebook and Instagram safer but won't make the necessary changes because they have put their astronomical profits before people. Oh, I think your mic is off. One of the things about uh, these um, uh, the internet companies like Facebook is where their biggest problems is the European Union. Though that is uh, the organization that really clamps down on uh, the uh, internet uh, providers. And uh, they, they're just coming down. I mean, fines already have been in the billions of dollars from the European Union. And uh, it's going to be, be okay for Facebook because uh, the European Union is based in Belgium and Facebook just bought Belgium. So they don't have to worry about that one. Oh, my God. Well, this is from today's That's So California file. Governor Newsom has approved a 12.5% excise tax on e-cigarettes. Yeah, why? Because you got to stop those teens from vaping. All right, now to be fair, uh, the additional tax will come up to about where tobacco products are taxed. Like cigarettes. Mm -hmm. And effectively, if these are pseudo-cigarettes, if they're almost kind of earsot cigarettes, why shouldn't the vapors, vapors, oh, I got the vapors, why shouldn't the vapors uh, pay the same tax as cigarette smokers do? Because vaping is a completely different delivery mechanism. It's got different health issues associated with it. Yeah, but the argument of different delivery. Because he just wants, he's saying, oh, the price will go up and then teenagers won't vape anymore because what, their allowances won't cover the cost of a vape cartridge? Oh, yeah, it can get pretty pricey. It can get pretty Please pricey. Please stop it. Why are you sticking up for this? Uh, because I am... You know, uh, they already outlawed all the flavored vapes. Yeah, and I'll tell you... Could, they, first could one, they wait a minute to see if that stops the kids yeah. from vaping? Yeah, and I don't think it has. Uh, although I've heard both sides of that. All I'm saying is uh, I'm a fan of taxing those products that hurt people. Mm -hmm. uh, alcohol, uh, certainly uh, vaping cigarettes. I have no problem with taxing the you hell love, out of you that. You have a nice high gas tax. No, because it? that no, because gas tax uh, you have to buy gasoline. You have no choice. You've got to, unless you have electric an electric car, and then you're buying electricity, which is a whole different world because uh, it's considered free downstairs. For example, we have a, an electrical charge uh, a station, and the, the and the company pays for that. Should there be an extra excise tax on a fast food hamburger that contains more than double the daily allotment of sodium you're supposed oh. to have? No, no. As a matter of fact, uh, there should be a subsidy. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> all right, so you're picking, you're picking and choosing your social evil. I am very personal. I am, and also I have no problem with taxation because I don't smoke and I don't drink. So uh, hey, you know, you can, hamburgers. Uh, but I do hamburgers. That's <laughs> true. You know who loves this? The cigarette industry. Because yeah. a lot of these kids, if yeah. if this is going to have any effect, it'll just push them back to cigarettes. Right. True. The U.S. trade deficit hit $73.3 billion in August, and we actually did have a small gain in exports, but you had a much larger increase in imports. Yeah, it, this is uh, crazy. Our, our deficit gets so high, our trade imbalance gets so high, and it's all uh, China. Even though China has really curtailed its production and its exports to the United States, we're still way over the top. Because that which we do buy is so enormous. Uh, China has the ability, and we can see it right now, literally shutting down the world economy. Right now, you can't get anything. Try buying a uh, try try buying a, an appliance. Oh, mm, I know someone who's started. trying to buy a couch, for example. Good it's luck. Eight, nine months. Yep. Why? The foam. They can't get the foam. Yeah. It took us six months to get a washer dryer, eight months to get furniture. It's, it's nuts. And then did you hear, I don't know, uh, yesterday I did the story on Wake Up Call, a shipping container 
Do you have any idea how much one sheet oh, yeah. costs uh, to uh, go from China to here? And I'll tell you, because I have personal experience, is uh, my partner, uh, Savile, you know, we have that, uh, oh, yeah. import ex that import business. We bring in cookware, yeah. uh, platinum cookware, if you want to look it up. <laughs> and it used to be, and I'll tell you right now, the price used to be $3,500 for a container. Our last charge for a container bringing cookware in was $23,000. Yes. That's Whoa. what they said, that it was over $20,000 in the story I read yesterday. That was double what it was in July, yep. and that was double what it was in January. Yep. 20, it was twenty three grand our last order, Yep. and it's still going to go up. Uh, and uh, By the way, if anybody buys, if, if anybody sells anything to China and wants to ship it to China via containers, it's about $0.80. Cents. <laughs> because uh, if there are more containers out here. No one, it, it, It's China to here, and that's it. Well, in China, too, if they get one person with COVID-19 on the dock, yeah, they, they shut, shut down the, dock. the entire, they yeah. shut all the dock down. I know. It's crazy. All right, we'll take a break, come back, and finish up handle on the news late edition. Jennifer. Facebook users are back online after the company's worst outage since 2008. CEO Mark Zuckerberg lost more than $6 billion yesterday because of it. President Biden will visit Michigan today to pitch his infrastructure plan. He says he'll explain how the money will be spent as Democrats remain divided. And the largest health care provider in New York handed out 1,400 pink slips. That's how many Northwell workers refused to follow the state's COVID-19 vaccine mandate last week. We've got to look at your drive on the 55. Here's the KFI in the sky next. So when does it make sense to uh, pay off your mortgage? Well, when interest rates are high. Uh, then it makes all the sense of the world. But when interest rates are this low, now the numbers don't pan out. So... Look at the record low interest rates. Look at the equity you have in your home. Look at what your equity is earning, zero. And taking the money out and putting it into an investment, five, six, eight percent. Now you're making some money. So let me suggest calling HMS Capital, because these are the folks that help you get that mortgage. And I know all about HMS Capital. I've known Mark, I Tice for over 16 years, and I've done two mortgages with HMS Capital. Their razor-sharp interest rates uh, are such that he is confident they can earn your business. Matter of fact, Mark has something I've heard of no other uh, mortgage company. Tells you, you don't want to apply with another company, a competitor, and us, and you'll see what we can do for you. No appraisal application fees. Call 833-255-5698. 833-255-5698. Visit hmscapital.com. HMScapital.com. Taking the capital funding is a DBA of Golden Empire. It's coming in at a tiny number. 2427. Capital is licensed under the Department of Financial Protection and Innovation. Comes to California Residential Mortgage Lending at license number 4130360. Equal housing under. Staples Connect has innovative tools for small businesses. Get up to $200 off select PCs like the Lenovo Idea Pad 5i with Intel i5 processor. Explore at your local Staples or StaplesConnect.com and 1017 in store only limit two. Staples Connect, a working and learning store. So got weather from KFI, partly cloudy with highs upper 60s at the beaches to the low 90s inland. This report is brought to you by your Staples store. We're checking out your drive on the 55. Yeah, I just want to give you a heads up now. South 55 has been in trouble all morning, actually. Here's another one. It'll be coming off to 91 now for South 55 down towards the 22 and all that. At 4th, there's been a new crash blocking lane, so it's getting slower and slower now coming out from the 91. Don't forget about Tustin Avenue. Hopefully it'll get you uh, into spots of orange if, if that does work. Quite a problem that's still working now coming through Santa Clarita. South 14 at Newhall. Terrible crash happened about an hour ago with an overturn. A uh, carpool through left at times all to get it out of your way. And just jammed coming down from the San Canning. And unfortunately, make the call, you're going to be late because even Sierra Highway is really jammed coming down the hill. And then real quick, coming through Burbank, uh, westbound 134 as far as just past, uh, uh, just past the I-5. The uh, second lane from the left is about three cars. Doesn't look like too much damage, but it's starting to back up from before the i five. Be careful. Injured in an accident. This is Superwoman, superlawyer.com. Jeff Fogg, AFI in the sky. This report is sponsored by Southern California Edison. Southern California Edison wants you to know that downed wires are dangerous and that you should never step in water near a downed wire because it can be electrified. Stay away and call 911. Stay alert, stay safe. 
Learn more at fce.com slash stay safe. I think we all gained a COVID-15 and need a diet, but if you're someone who struggles with weight your entire life, you know diets don't work. It's time to call Rex Medical and experience the DaVinci X Surgical System. He has hyper precision to weight loss surgery and a faster recovery. West Medical is the only place in the country with this breakthrough outpatient surgery. And it's covered by most insurances. Make that call today. The consultation is free. Change your life. Call 1-800-WEST-MED or visit westmedical.com. I feel incredible because I called 1-800-WEST-MEDICAL. Will I be able to smile again? Can I eat my favorite food? Can I live without worrying about my teeth? These are questions we hear every day at Clear Choice Dental Implant Centers. In a free one-hour consultation, we can provide answers. You may be a candidate for dental implants, which look, feel, and function like real teeth. And if you are, the answer to, can I feel like myself again, will be yes. 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 To find out more, visit us. At clearchoice.com. Still loving those Solar Max panels. <laughs> Duh. I'm saving money and I'm keeping cool throughout the summer and into October because Solar Max does everything under one roof right here in SoCal. I get the best service. Solar Max has an exciting new offer a Tesla 420 panels and power walls for $79.96 per month and zero down. All you got to do dial pound 250 from your cell phone, say the keyword Solar Max, pound 250 Solar Max, or go to solarmaxtech.com. Monthly period available on food credit, the SLB number 97204. Spectrum Business knows small businesses are always looking to cut expenses. That's why we offer the best value on fast internet and phone. But we wanted to do more. So, how does one month free sound? You got 200 megabit per second internet for $49.99 a month and business phone for $19.99 a month. And right now, you can get one month of internet and phone and even TV for free. Call 855-258-5887 and switch to Spectrum Business. Restrictions apply. Can you believe the holidays are almost here? When you think about that, what's the first thing that comes to mind? For me, it's the smiling faces of friends and family as we celebrate together. I'm Larry Green of System Perry, America's number one designer and installer of elegant outdoor living systems. Today, I'd like to help bring a smile to you and your loved ones' faces, too. For a limited time, System Pavers is sharing our exclusive friends and family prices. This is your chance to save big on an outdoor makeover that will make every get-together more memorable than ever. From a new patio or fire pit to upgrading your driveway or entry, take advantage of the low prices during our Home for the Holidays Friends and Family Savings event. Get started right now by calling 800-PAVE-004. That's 800-PAVE-004. Hurry, this exclusive Friends and Family pricing won't last forever. 800-PAVE-004 or systempavers.com. All orders must be placed by October 31st and installation must commence within 60 days of sale. Financing subject to third-party approval. See website for full offer details. Contractors license 661575. I will give you $1,300 off LASIK. This is for you, only for KFI listeners, from Dr. Charles Manger at Saddleback Eye Center. I'll give you a certificate, $1,300 off LASIK, and I can only give away 10 of these discount certificates to 10 KFI listeners who call now and schedule a free LASIK exam. The number is coming in moments. You must be sick of hearing your eye doctor, or maybe several eye doctors tell you that LASIK won't work for you. You go see Dr. Manger. Whether you're nearsighted, farsighted, you have astigmatism, or you just wear reading glasses, Dr. Manger can help you. I had three eye doctors tell me I couldn't have LASIK. They were all wrong. I'll give you a certificate, $1,300 off LASIK. You must be one of the first 10 KFI listeners to call now and schedule a free exam. You ready? Call 866-559-4444. 866-559-4444. 866-559-4444. Portions of the following program were pre-recorded. The spell is cast. Halloween time is back at the Disneyland Resort. And now, KFI AM 640 wants to give you a chance to get in on the magic. Happy Hauntings are returning to both Disney California Adventure Park and Disneyland Park. With so much fiendish fun, it's a real scream now through October 31st. Don't miss the celebration. Offering subject to capacity. Restrictions and change without notice. Keep listening for your chance to win tickets on KFI AM 640. More stimulating talk. Bill Handel here, morning crew, 
as uh, we finish handle on the news late edition, Jennifer, Wayne, and me. Well, this is a nice little perk. If you want to work for Target on the holidays, they will pay employees an extra two bucks an hour during peak holidays, so Saturdays and Sundays, and uh, they already said that they would scale back holiday hiring and then focus more on giving hours to current staff. All right, so how much does the average worker at uh, Target make? Well, their minimum wage is 15 an hour. Okay, so someone starts at 15, if you're there for, what, a year, you're going to be, what, 16, 17, and add another couple of bucks? I was just at Target, by the way. Hour. I'm wearing my good fellow jeans that I bought at Target a couple of days ago. Very exciting. I haven't bought new jeans in a very, very long time. Oh. I lost a lot of weight, so I didn't have any pants to fit me. Mm-hmm. Literally, they were falling down uh, on my, around my ankle. So I can, we cannot uh, speak on behalf of everybody on the show. We are so grateful yep. that you took care of that problem that your pants were falling down all the time before you came back. Yeah, they got tired of me mooning people around here. Yes, that's my point. In- inadvertently. Disneyland will now have a year-round Christmas item shop. Woo! Right? <laughs> right there on the Main Street, USA. It's going to be called the Plaza Point Store. It's taking over the, it used to be called the Main Street Photo Supply, ye old company, or whatever that thing was. Christmas merchandise year-round. And then at ha- a Halloween time, they'll also have some Halloween stuff. Easter time, they'll have some Easter stuff. You get the idea. Who's right. going to, uh... I don't know, whatever. I don't, know. I don't, I don't, I don't I do not understand the Disneyland people. They just... I just like the topic. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Who's buying Christmas? Who needs to buy Christmas stuff year-round? Me! Oh, my God, every There are people that actually there. buy uh, in, the, in the summer because... Uh, Deals are so good, or right after Christmas. Yeah. Well, I, don't, I don't think it could be lame to be able to get it. No. But I love to get an uh, ornament from all the different places that we visit. And then I put up a tree that has the ornament. So, mm. Okay, I'm not going to. Brian Laundry's sister basically said, F that guy, I'd turn him in if I saw him. So she talked to ABC's Good Morning America, and she says, No, I don't know where Brian is, but I'd turn him in. I worry about him, I hope he's okay. And then I'm angry, and I don't know what to think. I would tell my brother, just come forward and get us out of this horrible mess. So she clearly believes he's still alive. Right. And uh, you haven't heard her parents, his parents, say, I turn him in. Or we turn him in. No. But I love the sisters, like, just get us out of this mess. Yeah. Yeah, he's really ruining everybody's life. Not mine. Not yours. Well, I mean, uh, uh, the story, of course, of course, about, uh, you know, her being, you know, Gabby Petito being killed, of course, is a horrific story, but it's ruining, never mind. I'm going to go in that direction I wasn't going to. Uh, next story. All right. Uh, his real name is Zachary Joseph Horwitz. Maybe you know him by his film name, Zach Avery, an actor who's been in some sort of B movies. Well, he just pleaded guilty to security fraud in a $650 million Ponzi scam. Six hundred and fifty million bucks. Okay, so now I'm going to throw it back to you for a moment, uh, Wayne. He is pleaded guilty to one count of securities fraud, yeah. uh, and based on the fact that Terry is sentenced up to twenty years, which is the maximum sentence that no one gets, considering this is six hundred and fifty million dollars, is he going to get his twenty? Well, he's going to be starting. Yeah, I mean the sentencing guideline range is going to blow way past that twenty cap, so it starts at twenty. I don't know if he's got any sympathetic mitigating factors about himself, but repeatedly lying to investors, dummying up documents, purporting Which to be did. distribution deals with Netflix or Sony Bills. Right. Um, I mean, I have no problem giving him 20. There's something going on. This is a deal for him. Because I guarantee you they could have charged a bunch of counts and stacked them sure. up. So I don't know what it is they, they uh, like about this guy. Maybe they like his uh, film work. As a B after? Yeah. <laughs> Big fan. All right, guys. You know what? What? Bill, I feel like you would like story 15. Oh, oh right. the toilet. The end. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. So, uh, archaeologists in Israel are very, they're flushed with excitement. Oh. Having found a 2,700-year-old toilet in Jerusalem, and back in that day, having a private toilet uh, room, if you will, was a luxury. This sounds delightful. It's a smooth, carved limestone toilet 
found in a rectangular cabin that was part of a big mansion. Hmm. It was a private water closet. Hmm. Only rich people could afford toilets back then. Hmm. Well, there's still parts of the United States where uh, mm -hmm. there are no, no running water. And stuff. You know, it's uh, you know, I, I get, you know, I always talk about Appalachia, uh, Appalachia and, and and it actually is a lovely place. Uh, West Virginia, where you come from, they're very poor areas. I don't come from there. Well, you have. I just lived there for a few okay. years. Uh, All right, I don't come from. But there. you have family. Uh, I know your dad lived there. Oh yeah, my yeah. Family, we all moved there, yeah. and then I got the hell out. <laughs> but you know, they're back to California. But every time you think of Virginia, West Virginia, Tennessee, you think of that Appalachia area, and it's really not. I mean, they're you know, you got the uh, the Golden Triangle or the uh, Tech Triangle there. And, yeah, yeah, so nice you found out like uh, Bobby, the Wild Yeah, yeah, those yeah, those are uh, like. Uh, yeah, it's not, they, they don't say they don't say squirrel in the supermarket. Well, no, but no. you know what? You go say twenty miles out of right, the way, right. and there are people without houses, just like yeah. in in West Virginia. You could be in Charleston, the capital, and you're at the mall, looking at Hot Topic, and you go twenty miles out to like Allen Creek, and uh, people have to put on sweatpants and stuff to go out to uh, take a poop in the middle of the night. I'm going there. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm looking forward to seeing that area. I've seen parts of it. Um, I, really love that I just want to know if you want to say, if you want to claim that your toilet now in the Persian Palace is even more luxurious than what they found the line. Probably not. Probably not. Not as comfortable. Are you feeling jealous? I am. Let's uh, take a break. We're done. Boys are going over. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, play it off. Yeah, play it off. You take it and I grab it, right? All right. The death crisis. And Mitch McConnell is all over it. What a great story there. I'll share that with you when we come back. KFI, AM640, live everywhere on the iHeartRadio. If you didn't like that opinion, keep listening. We've got a few more. KFI, AM640, live everywhere on the iHeartRadio. Searching for a cause. I'm Jennifer Jones, we're live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom. Car balls and patties have started to show up on the beaches in Orange County. They start camping with Becca Orr's as crews are working on shore to clean up the sand. We know that there is oil ranging from Huntington Beach, and now we know it's far down as Laguna. And likely moving, continuing to move in a southerly direction based on the wind and the weather and the current. Or says at least 14 boats are working around the clock to clean up the spill. The company that owns the pipeline says the break in the line could have been from a structural default or a ship's anchor hitting it. The company says about 127,000 gallons may have spilled out, enough for 3,111 barrels. Steve Gregory, KFI News. Wildlife crews are on the lookout for animals that have been hurt because of the spill. Four birds have been recovered and one pelican has died. Dr. Michael Sicardi with the Oil Wildlife Care Network says Birds are more susceptible to the effects of oil than animals such as dolphins or seals. They use their feathers almost like a dry suit to keep themselves warm in the marine environment. If they get oil, their first response is to get warm. Here's not right. That's why they're going to come ashore quickly so they can try to stay warm. Cardi says dolphins can have problems if they breathe fumes in. It feels that they ingest the oil. In Huntington Beach, Blake Trolley, KFI News. Five LA County employees are suing the county over the vaccine mandate. The lawsuit alleges the directive is unconstitutional because it exceeds the county's power under the Emergency Services Act. In August, the LA County...